नेक्स्ट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर टू पॉइंट वन थ्री वॉट इज द वेव लेंथ ऑफ लाइट एमिटेड वेन इलेक्ट्रॉन इन अ हाइड्रोजन एटम अंडर गोज ट्रांजिशन फ्रॉम एन एनर्जी लेवल एन इज इक्वल टू फोर टू एन एनर्जी लेवल एन इज इक्वल टू टू so in this in our syllabus also when we are learning for an hydrogen atom we are learning with respect to emission and not absorption so obviously when you have problems you have problems related to emission only and not absorption so here when we talk about emission i am talking about different energy levels so say i have this as energy level this is going to be my energy level 1 then i have this as energy level 2 and then i have energy level 3 and then i have energy level 4 and so on and it goes probably up to infinity now in this problem it clearly says that it is falling from 4 up to energy level 2 so this is the transition so for this we need to see what is the wavelength of the light emitted when electron is jumping from 4 to 2 that's exactly what we have to find out so for this we will use this rydberg's equation so we have we'll write according to rydberg's equation so we have an equation just to calculate this so in this case we will write according to rydberg's equation 1 by lambda is equal to rydberg's constant into 1 by n1 square by 1 by n2 square now n1 here is equal to 2 because it's falling to first ground state n2 is equal to 4 because it's falling from the n is equal to 4 state rh is equal to 109677 centimeter inverse this value is a constant you should know the value let's just substitute these values over here so we can now say that this is 109677 into 1 by n1 square is 2 square minus 1 by n2 square is 4 square centimeter inverse now when we take the uh, square and do the lcm over here this will become 1 by 4 minus 1 by 16 when we do an lcm here it will become 109677 into this will be 3 by 16 cm inverse now when we try to multiply and simplify this we will get this as 20564.4 centimeter inverse now this itself when we shift the decimal we will get 2.0564 into 10 to the power 4 centimeter inverse now this value here is 1 by lambda so we need is lambda value therefore lambda is 1 divided by 2.0564 Ten to the power four centimeter inverse, because this value is for one by lambda. That is the value we took it for. So for this, what we will do is we will find what is lambda value. So this will become one divided by this value. Now this one, when we simplify, we will get zero point four eight six three eight into ten to the power plus four will become minus four centimeter inverse will become centimeter. now this itself when we try to shift the decimal this will become 4.8638 into 10 to the power minus 5 cm now this is in terms of cm right so we will shift two more decimals which will be 486.38 into 10 to the power minus 7 cm now this itself when we convert centimeter to meter this will be minus 2 again so this will be 486.38 into 10 to the power minus 7 converted to meter this will become 10 to the power minus 2 meter simplify the powers you will get 
486.38 into 10 to the power minus 9 meter. Now when we convert it like this, 10 to the power minus 9 meter is equal to 1 nanometer because 1 nanometer 1 nanometer is equal to 10 to the power minus 9 meter. So we have 10 to the power minus 9 meter that means you have 486.38 nanometer. That is going to be the wavelength for this particular emission.